Israel has mobilized the largest call-up of reserves in the country's history, more than 300,000, staging right here on the Gaza border. Many of those soldiers have come here from the United States, putting their lives on hold to fight. In a field next to the Gaza border, a commander checks in with his tank teams. He asks us to identify him as Major Shraga. Shraga is a 38-year-old Israeli-American who commands 500 infantrymen and the heavy armor and big guns who protect him. Shraga gave Scripps News rare access to his Jerusalem Wolves battalion as they prepare to fight. Infantry, that usually means going forward first. Yes, front line, door to door. I'm sure that uh, Hamas has a lot of surprises waiting for us, a lot of underground tunnels, a lot of booby traps. Snipers. Snipers as well, and we're prepared for that. Are you nervous about going in? Well, you know, it would be foolish to tell you that as a man standing before a war that there's no fear. Of course, there's some fear, but it's manageable, and we trained for this and prepared for this. I do live in Chicago, but this is home for me as well. On October 7th, Trago was home in Chicago, where he works in finance, watching on television the horror unfolding as Hamas terrorists massacred and kidnapped civilians and Israeli soldiers. I packed up my suitcase, and within an hour I was in the airport and got on the first flight back to Israel. Sunday afternoon, I was already here with my uh, reserve unit at the battlefield. That battlefield still strewn with bodies when he arrived. I have a little over 500 soldiers here, and uh, we're all shocked by what we've seen. In the past few days, we've been collecting bodies of our own and seen many bodies of Hamas terrorists as well. The major has been on reserve duty with the Israel Defense Forces, the IDF, since 2004. He's come back here to fight before. In 2016, in the West Bank, a Palestinian militant attacked him with a knife. You've already been injured once. Yeah. Pretty severely. Yeah, I was. Were you close to death? Yeah, very close to death. I was stabbed right in my chest by a terrorist that jumped me from behind in the West Bank. But you're still back at it. I really feel like we have no other choice. No other choice to make sure October 7th never happens again. I don't know one out of my whole 500 people brigade that is bloodthirsty. All the troops that you're seeing around here, we are the promise that never again, that never again Jews would be slaughtered unprotected. So whatever it takes and whatever it means, we're going to get our job done. Jason Bellini, Scripps News, near the Gaza border.